Hey guys, should I use a G site or buy a domain for local service lead gen? Please explain for short-term and long-term strategy. Okay. Um, you know, Rob, he does everything with just uh, G sites. He doesn't do any like self-hosted sites at all. And he's, you know, he kills it. Um, there's, I, 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 I like to still build a brand with a self-hosted site for the most part. If I'm doing a standalone GMB uh, lead gen, that isn't going to be like some brand that I plan to expand then, which I try not to do that anymore at all. If I'm going to start building lead gen assets, I try to always create a brand that I'm going to use across multiple locations. Okay. Because as I, we've talked about many, many times before, now you don't have to have a self-hosted site for that though. Right. You can create And here's the thing, BB, whatever route you go, whether you want a self-hosted site, Right. So buy a domain for that or just use Google sites and drive stacks, uh, you know, the SEO shield essentially without a self-hosted site. You can do it either way. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. I tend to like to have a WordPress site still because it gives me additional functionality. Um, but I know that you can do it with just a G site. What my recommendation is, is that you target just a brand on the, the primary G site, if you want to go that route where you're, you're, you don't have to buy domains, you don't have to have a hosting account, you don't have to set up and maintain or manage WordPress, you can do it with just a Google site. But what I recommend is instead of localizing the Google site for the initial, the initial one, you want to set it up as a brand, right? So essentially, let's just call it BB's lead gen right? <laughs> we're we're going to call it that. So your first, your G site and your SEO shield, I would set it up on, on to where it's optimized for specifically the brand. That's it on, right? So that you order the SEO power shield for BB's lead gen, right? So that's the brand. So the Google site would be sites.google.com slash view slash BB's lead gen. And I wouldn't add or associate it with a particular location at that point. If you're, it's going to be a standalone, then you could do that, right? You'd want to be maybe as lead gen for whatever your city you're in, right? So plus city. But if you're going to create a brand out of it, which is what I recommend and create that you can expand for multiple locations, then I would do it for just the brand at the top level. And then for every location, even if you're starting off with just one location, I would create that as an inner page of the G site. So it's optimized, you know, has it like basically a location page an inner page on the G site, as well as an RYS expansion, right? Which you order that on MGYB as well, which would be optimized for that particular location. And then for each subsequent location that you add, it gets another RYS expansion stack or or RYS expansion, uh, stack expansion, excuse me, (laughs) whatever. You get what I'm saying. I would have an expansion for each individual location and each location would be optimized for that, you know, whatever your primary keyword is plus the location. That's the way I do it. And the reason why is because you can really build that entity up, that brand name up so that initially it's all going to be the same. But over time, as you add more, like you continue to link build into it and everything else, it's going to start to gain authority. And each time you want to add another location, expand to a new area, then when you add uh, another RYS expansion, another inner, you know, inner page on the G site, it's going to instantly benefit from all of the power that's been accrued into that branded stack and G site. Does that make sense? So initially your workload is going to be the same. In fact, it might even be a little bit higher initially because instead of optimizing the uh, drive stack and the G site homepage for a particular location, you optimize it for the brand only. And then you have to have an expansion to target the specific location. So upfront, it might be a little bit more work, just a tiny bit, but over time, it's going to pay off, um, it's going to produce a significant payoff because each time you add a net, another location, it's going to instantly benefit from the power accrued and will be a hell of a lot easier to get results from than starting over from scratch each time. Does that make sense? So that's why I prefer to do it that way. I mean, I still like to have a WordPress site guys, unless it, like, like I said, it's just a standalone, like a test project or something like that. But if it's something that I plan on expanding, I like to have a WordPress site, but that's just personal preference. Like I said, Rob does everything with just G sites and just crushes it. So it's up to you how you want to handle that, okay?